Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vijay Shri, Assistant Professor of Commerce Professional Accounting. Today we are going to see in the topic Fundamentals of Marketing, in that we are going to see a subdivision Direct Marketing. Before going into the concept, first we have to understand the term Direct Marketing and before starting the content, some of the learning objectives we are going to see. So first objective in this video will be like to know about meaning of direct marketing and to learn about its objectives, to learn about the merits and demerits of, to have a clear idea about its merits and demerits. So what is mean by direct marketing? We have to understand the meaning of direct marketing before knowing about its characteristics or merits. Direct marketing is considered as more important method in case of marketing aspects. A firm follows the direct marketing for the following purpose. If they want to have a direct contact with the customers, the best suited method is direct marketing. In this marketing, the firm can have a direct contact with the customer in the way of close communication. So the customers can have a close touch and they can create interest in the minds of the customers. This avoids the third party into the advertising. So the marketing through third parties may be become tedious in some cases. It is also known as direct mail advertising. So in this method the main characteristics we can say is direct contact and close communication with the customers plays an important role. So next we are going to see about some of the characteristics of customers. In this direct marketing, we know that more or less a personal contact can be maintained with the customers. So how it can be followed? So mostly there will be a written form of communication. It can be a sales letter or circulars or these forms of written form of communication will be maintained in the direct marketing. Direct marketing can also be conducted through post. So in olden days postal methods are mainly followed but now we are following telemarketing method, internet method etc. And this marketing method is easy to measure the market condition. So the sales can be easily improved by using this direct marketing. It is also known as it is highly suitable for highly targeted marketing. So if we know the customers who are to be director, this marketing method is more apter. So as we know, some of the examples followed in this direct marketing are sales letter, circulars, coupons, direct mail, internet mail or emailing, something like etc. Next we have to see about the merits of the customers. So what are the merits we'll be getting while following this direct marketing? A personal relationship with the customers can be made as we know that a close contact is maintained. So we can say that a personal relationship can be also be maintained. In this method, a detailed information about the customers or the suggestions given by the customers can be maintained through this marketing system. And also it is said that detailed information can also be conveyed to the customers that is what the firm is conveying to the customers can be made in a detailed format in direct marketing. It is known as the effective method of system which can be followed in marketing and also the system can be measured easily. This system is known for its elasticity. So what is that elasticity? It is nothing but any addition or deletion or any changes in the way of marketing or details to be changed can be easily made in this type of marketing as it is a direct contact with the customers. And one of the another main importance or merits of this marketing is privacy can be maintained at most. All try to maintain the privacy of the customers and in this method it can be easily achieved. And it also be set as it is the most cheaper method in marketing as the target customers are can be easily reached. The amount spent for the customers or marketing is cheaper in this method. 
and it is a highly selective method that is sending the letters to those whose whom are to be contacted is made easily. So it is known as highly selective. So these are all the merits of the direct marketing and if at all there are merits of the marketing also there are some demerits of direct marketing also. So what are the demerits which can be said? So we have to draft mail while doing this direct marketing. So it is said as direct contact. So we have to draft the each and every details to be conveyed to the customer. So it requires a yeah, specialized skill. So only a specialized person in the communication can follow this direct marketing method as so it is considered as a demerit specialized skill is needed. And another demerit we can say is it is difficult to maintain. So what is the difficulty we are saying here is each and every details have to be made detail and each and every customer has to be contacted directly and update information should be maintained as a list. So it becomes something like tedious and difficult to maintain each and every record and updated record of the customers in this case of marketing. And the success of the mar this marketing depends upon the reaching of the customers. So what is the problem in reaching customers means you cannot say that the customers can be directly contacted that much easily. So it requires a lot of time consuming and a lot of problems are involved in the reaching of the customers. And another demerit we can say is no attention something can be is also possible in this case of marketing. So in many cases which it fetches that no attention of the receiver is made. So even though we mail them or send them mails or letters or postal method anything can be followed. The consumer has to pay attention to this marketing. So it also stands as a demerit of the customer. So for this video we have seen about the characteristics, merits and demerits of direct marketing. Thank you.